When you look at the studies on aging, the, the defining characteristics of a lot of centenarians, people who live to be 100 years old, is their resilience, is their ability to bounce back from life's punches. We all get knocked to our knees by loss, by divorce, by illness, by this, by that. And the difference is how do we respond to those challenges? And are we resilient or do we end up going into a downward spiral of depression and despair and dysfunction? And to me, that, that's a really interesting thing. It's your mindset. It's your yeah. belief. It's your sense of optimism. You know, opt optimists live longer, even if they're wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, no, it's a hundred percent correct. And that concept, you know, as I said earlier, it's about you know mixing this ancient wisdom with modern science. One of the first things I got taught by my Chinese medicine teacher, Ephraim Korngold and, and Harriet Bainfeld, was health is about resilience. How do you build someone's resilience? You know, it's not about how well you are, but how well you, you, you respond to the knocks in life, to diseases, etc. And they always stress this concept of resilience. So I agree 100% with you. It is about being more resilient. Healthy aging well is about being resilient. Uh, you may not be, you know, I can't run, for instance. I don't jog anymore because i got a gammy knee, but I walk and I cycle. So you adapt. Yeah. Um, you, you know, you, and, and that's with everything in life. And I think your attitude in it, uh, is important too. So, so being resilient, I agree, is probably one of the most important keys to 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 health.